episode, we looked at the importance of edging, but now we're going to look at sending the kite and how that can affect the jump. It is simply impossible to boost successfully without the proper use of our kite. Steer the kite just past 12 with conviction and once airborne, level off the bar and remain calm. Finally, redirect the kite smoothly to gain a soft floaty landing. So on to common problems. Failure to send the kite with commitment will never get you up there. Try to start steering the kite from lower down and with more aggression. Just watch the kite here, it's moving way too slow. How about the classic bomb? This time everything looks fine but by sending the kite through 12 and continuing to pull on the backhand there is no float available on landing. To generate good lift it's important to send the kite past 12 but watch here how I stop pulling with the backhand and try to keep the kite above me. This really helps with my hang time. Let's put this all together in a well controlled decent jump. Watch that kite speed, I'm really sending it here. It's okay for the kite to stay just past 12. Achieving some jumps with three seconds of hang time or more is a good sign that you're using the kite well. With good piloting skills, you'll be flying up the leaderboards in no time.